Hi everyone, it's Saturday morning and I'm excited cooking a red snapper fish today for a party in the evening uh, for one of my very good friends. Uh, I'm actually inspired by, by her skills with cooking fish as well. Uh, all right, so here goes uh, three, I took three whole red snapper fish. It was a bit cumbersome to cut them into steaks, but nevertheless, I enjoyed uh, uh, getting them uh, finely cut to about 15 pieces and like you see here uh, I'm not cutting fillets I'm just cutting them into uh, pieces which have bones intact in them so this is an Asian oriental cuisine uh, and most Asian oriental cuisines also have uh, fish which have bones in them this tastes good with bones um, and these are the fish steaks which I provide. So on the side, you would definitely want to know the health benefits of red snapper, a fish that is found mostly in the Gulf of Mexico and Southern Atlantic Ocean is a very, very healthy fish. Um, it does um, have its own health benefits like curing type 2 diabetes, osteoarthritis, reducing the risks of heart disease. And it definitely is a very low calorie, but a very high protein fish. So you would definitely want to try this. Um, there are simpler recipes. You can cook soup or pan seared fish. However, I'm trying an oriental style, a much more Asian uh, a recipe. Uh, so what I took was I took this 15 uh, steaks and uh, marinated them with salt, turmeric powder, and a little olive oil and kept that separately. If I also cut some eggplants on the side. You can see these are some finely cut thin slices and um, I fried them separately to add to this curry sauce. And so here's on the side, uh, I'm preparing some mustard sauce with green hot peppers. Here I have used hot serrano peppers. You can use jalapeno, you can use any red Asian style green chilies. The mustard sauce is prepared with two cups of dry mustard powder, one teaspoon of turmeric salt and a pinch of salt and sugar to taste. And mix them with the green chilies well and keep, it, keep this aside for the gravy. The mustard sauce is a little spicy here. If you don't like it too spicy, don't add too much of hot peppers. Now, I fried the fish steak separately. Uh, as you can see, the oil that I sprayed in the pan, I warmed it up. So the, really the key to success in getting a nicely fried fish without uh, sticking to the bottom of the pan is heat the oil well and then fry it for 10 minutes, both sides. And once it's ready, keep it separate. And here you will see all intact, nice pieces of fish steaks, which has come out well. Um, these were marinated for three hours, as I mentioned before. And now uh, this is the second round of frying these fish steaks and uh, all of them have turned out very well. However, if you do not have much of uh, help of a butcher, you would want to really uh, uh, try fillets. Um, they taste very well with this recipe as well. So you can try either fillets or if you find steaks at a place, you can go with that. Now I warmed up uh, the uh, pan with a uh, couple tablespoons of olive oil and added the remaining green hot serrano peppers and black cumin seeds, half a teaspoon of that. Fried it for five minutes and then added the mustard sauce to it to produce a good gravy. I actually added a couple more cups of small cups of warm water to um, add more, you know, add more to the gravy and have at least a good amount of flavorful gravy that can go into the fish. So here you're seeing that I added all one, all of the fish one by one and then covered the pan uh, to let it simmer and all the flavor to get into it. I also added all the eggplants as soon as the fish were turned uh, upside down and then the, I let it simmer for another five minutes. That's when I added all the eggplants. Eggplants are very soft so they, they will just melt if you do not, if you add them too soon. You just want to add them at the very end. And these are some coriander leaves which I took to add to garnish in the end. And uh, and then I turned the stove off. Uh, I covered the pan, let it be, let it there for another couple hours, and that's when now I will transfer the fish uh, to a bowl and then serve it some white or brown rice. That's what it goes best with. Of course, you can have it um, on the side with any other um, grilled veggies if you like. But this is an oriental style recipe. Um, we also cook this recipe with for hilsa fish. It really goes best with 
red snapper cooked in this asian style really goes best with rice i hope you all will get to enjoy this either with filet or bone steaks um, but let me know how it comes out i'm going to share this with my friends at a party tonight and hopefully uh, i'll get some good feedback and share them with you later but in the meantime if you get to try this recipe do let me know